Glorious day to you, my friends. Kia katara, isohona tarhi toraha kia tahana. Welcome to day number 135 of being this blissful existence, illuminating and nurturing grace. Niatare ashana ikotarata. This grace of our inner being, this grace of all that is, is gonna achita koriyatata. It's grace of just everything. We are on day number four of Vishuddha in this 144 day series. Vishuddha, the truth, sound, akash. Both the space in between everything and the void, this abyss. And today, we're going to consider time, the snapshots, still allowing everything to rest, for us to observe, to be aware of everything as it, it exists. But today, as we explore fast-forwarding and rewinding of time to observe what some call chaos, some call it the butterfly effect. Yesterday, we talked about the field of influence of just one very small item what did we observe? Nadia Toro or Shanoko Torta. And as we today invite in the observation of the field of influence over time and how it influences other objects movement of objects, the spin of objects, the strength of their movement, how the influence influences change. So I invite you to close your eyes, maybe after settling in whether you lie down, whether you sit, or whether you sit in seated meditation. It does not matter. Comfort and ease are what is important as we allow time to rest as we allow creation to rest, as we allow our mind to rest, as we allow change to rest, we have already taken off our Manamaya Kosha this cloak, this piece of clothing of the mind, the mind of the individual, this thinking and creating thing, as we simply are aware of this realm of cognition, of understanding, of existence, this Vijnana Maya Kosha. we allow our breath to be natural and we allow ourselves to settle in. And when we are ready, as 
we control this flow of time. Simply by sliding the slider back and forth, moment by moment, as we are aware and observe and know. Let us restrict this experiment at this time, outside of time, to three items as we allow them to move freely as we observe these three as the properties of each of these three and let us give each of these three things the same property but different values and let's look at the first item what is this property what is its field of influence is it in the influence is this field big enough to encompass the other two and let's look at item number two what is the value of its property and what is this field that it generates is it large enough to influence the other two objects let us make it large enough let us make the first item large enough and the third item, what is its value of its attribute? And as these attributes influence each other, as they attract each other, and we set it in motion, how are they moving how are they influencing each other how do they draw each other back to themselves back to each other what is their sphere of influence together is there a repeating pattern do they ever stop? As we observe this, let us add another attribute with another field of influence. As they move, this is a different property. Is this property repelling, attracting? What are they doing now that you have introduced another property with its own? The rules are being defined by simply the value and its field of influence. And how does the change in one of the values influence this three body system? How does the slightest change, even decreasing in one smallest percentage, how does that change the dynamics of these three bodies? And the smallest change in one of the values influences how they interact, how they move. Are they still in the influence of each other, or has one escaped? And as we add a fourth body, 
and a third attribute. How is this changing? And when you stop time, it is knowable where everyone is, where the items are, what the values are of the properties, what the values are in each place, in each field of influence. All of this is known. We not, may not be aware of it. We may not have observed each value, but it is known. And as we expand this thought process, a snapshot in what we call time, and we allow this dynamic system of seemingly infinite number of items with a significant number of properties at many levels and many fields, the fields at the subatomic level. scale level. Notice how one small value change. If we keep all the values the same, let us play time. Notice how everything moves and interacts. Where each frame is determined. Now let us go back in time and change simply one of the values at the smallest level. One of the values in the field, in the subatomic field, any one of them. And let us zoom back out play on this time. How has everything changed? How long before you noticed the change? And did you notice that one small change in one element, how long did it take to affect the other side of the galaxy? How long did it take to influence the other side of this universe? As you see, this is knowable. As you see, this is predictable. possibilities 
with just three unknowns. With just three items. With values that change. The infinite possibilities are so vast with a seemingly infinite number of items and a seemingly infinite number of attributes with a seemingly infinite number of fields of influence. This beauty of chaos where chaos just means this abyss it just means this void this void of the mind it simply means outside of time for Om. Om. So hum. So hum. So So... 
Listen to our Antarnad, our inner sound chant, Ang. As we continue to rest, even allowing awareness to rest.
As our inner being transitions, as our Antar Nad chants sang, we transition to our Antar Nad, our inner sound, chanting Ong. Thirty six times. And then concluding with Om, whether you decide to chant Om or simply listen to your Antarnad chanting Om.
If you are going to chant, <coughs> a breath in for Om. Om. When you are ready, let us slowly bring awareness back to the here and now. Maybe invite in some gentle movements. Isatati, hatetur urhonator hashai, kasa hakiara nahetorator. And when you are ready, Slowly open your eyes and welcome in the new now. Hutur utanahasa ikiatara arhane itara. Congratulations, my friends. We have completed day number 135 of being this blissful existence, illuminating and nurturing grace. Kasiko no torio cha anatikirata. I encourage you to journal. He saw Tor Anahakati Diaryanahasiara Aru Uru Hutor Tkacha. No matter what you became aware of, what you observed, maybe document your thought experiment. What you became aware of, what became known. Kaskuno Utor Arana Ekar Atanati Karatata. More and one more day left with Vishuddha, with this physicality of what is. I'm interested to see what they're going to talk about tomorrow. 
Sahyakar Arnahisaya Artita Ara Arsanahiyaha.